Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball 12 box pick your team number 4 from jazbeescasebreaks.com Big thanks to all of these folks for getting this going on a Friday night February 1st already It's the first of the month 12 box pick your team number 4 There's everybody right here Thanks to Scott, Last Bot Mojo, Nix And let's pop this case open and see what we got. And apologies for mumbling a little bit. I have a throat lozenge in my mouth. All right, box number one. A lot of great stuff in Donner's Optic Basketball. Top rookies always sell well. Parallels sell well. All that sort of stuff. So good luck to all. I don't have any... I didn't get around to any hoop picks today for some reason. No hoops picks today, ladies and gentlemen, but let, what's going on in the hoops world? The NBA world has been kind of crazy lately. So the scores are, if we, it's, a, it's a final in Miami. OKC won 118 to 102 in Miami. Celtics took care of business against the Knicks, 113-99. to Has Dennis Smith Jr. joined that team yet? Charlotte beats the Grizzlies, 192 in Charlotte. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, Utah leading the Hawks, 109-97. And with four minutes left in the first half, Denver 69, Rockets 59. Den Denver up by 10. I don't have a TV here, folks. Not tonight. We have to move things around for our 101 box Superb Owl Mixer. But I'll have a TV tomorrow. Rick likes uh, what Kevin Huter is doing for Atlanta. He's got a nice little three ball. He's got 14 tonight. Nice. That that makes Atlanta... Oh, you have... Uh, Rick Ricky Holbert has, a, has the Hawks in this one. Um, but I agree with you, Rick Barker. That's what makes Atlanta, I think, a pretty good... Uh, a pretty good value. Because they've got, obviously, a top-tier rookie like um, Trey Young. And then they've got another guy in um, they've got another guy in Kevin Huter as well. There's 2 out of 10, Shea Gilgis Alexander, SGA, going to Jim Gray. And the Clippers, nice 2 out of 10. He's been playing some good ball. People like him here in LA. Uh, Jeremy Lin for the Hawks to 79. And signature series, Yanti Mat uh, Maton. <laughs> YM for the Miami Heat going to Matthew K. Ben Simmons, nice lime green to 149. DeAndre Ayton, the rookies. Nice. Little, we'll save one of these, but really, it's the hollow, it's the hollow ones that we're um, that we're really looking forward to doing. Josh Jackson for the Suns.
and Ricky Rubio Black Velocity to 99. To 39. All right, next box. Looks like Davis uh, Davis Sr. doesn't want his son in Boston, apparently. Did I, Joe P? I don't know. Those are the times, though. They're L.A. time, Pacific time. Mark Cuban says Poisoning is likely won't play this season. Kyrie Irving hears cheers We Want Kyrie chants in New York. And Bulls waved uh, Carmelo, waving his way, uh, waving, clearing his way for free agency. Lakers, maybe. Although I don't think the Lakers are going to make that kind of move until. Uh, until they figure out what Anthony Davis is going to do. All right, we got some green Tobias Harris. Four out of five on that one. What are you talking about, Joe? <laughs> read read the schedule in the chat, my friend. Four out of five. And that's for Jim Gray and the Clip Show. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Bruce Brown to 199 for the Pistons. And Jacob Evans III is your rated rookie autograph. That goes to Mark Matheson and the Warriors. Serge Ibaka to 199. Yeah, so so far so good, Jim Gray. Andrew Wiggins to 99. And some lime green, poor Victor Oladipo out of 149. Season ending injury. All right. Might be the end for the Pacers season too, unless unless Aaron Holiday goes bananas. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. Well, the big news, of course, yesterday was... Kristaps Porzingis being traded to the Mavs. 
plus a couple expiring contracts going the other way. Or bad contracts going the other way. Courtney Lee and I think Tim Hardaway Jr. Along with Porzingis going to Dallas. And then DeAndre Jordan was probably going to get it waived. And Dan Smith Jr. going all the way to Dallas or going all the way to New York from Dallas. And DeAndre Jordan probably going to get get bought out. So it's a huge salary dump for the Knicks. Now, this deal, I, this deal only really works, in my opinion, if if the Knicks think they can get Kevin Durant and someone like Kyrie Irving on that team. Is that possible? I guess anything's possible, but is that probable? Maybe there's a is there a is there a Kevin Durant New York connection I'm missing? I thought he was from I thought he was from Washington D.C. There's Robert Williams the third lime green for the Celtics out of 149. Now with the Celtics, there's a lot a lot of different layers happening in the NBA now. Will the Celtics? offer up well will the Pelicans wait and then will the Celtics offer up Jason Tatum which is what I think the New Orleans would really want there's George Hill to 49 James Harden to 49. There's Costa Santa de Campo, hollow. And we've got rated rookie autograph, hollow, Aaron Holiday. Nice. And that goes to the Pacers, Peter Eng. Peter Eng with. The Pacers, nice Aaron Holiday. In the absence of Victor Oladipo, maybe he'll step up. Chris Cleary says, not Irving. They won't give him up. Give him up. Well, that's not... I don't think that's the choice of the, uh, of the Celtics. Kyrie Irving's a free agent in the summer. 49 out of 99. Next box. There are rumors that Kyrie Irving will go to uh, will go to L.A. reunite with uh, LeBron James. And of course, if you put your conspiracy theory hat on, you could you could say you could say that Ky both Kyrie and LeBron organized their exits away from Cleveland because they hate owner Dan Gilbert so much. Orchestrated those exits only to reunite again. Later on, maybe. So, a lot, a lot of different ways the uh, the ball could spin, ladies and gentlemen. If Kevin Durant gets maxed by by the Warriors. Then I think the Warriors can't supermax Clay Thompson. If Clay Thompson doesn't get that, he may be a free agent. He might look elsewhere. Now, Kevin Durant probably won't go to New York unless they have something set up, right? If they've got. Kevin Knox, Dennis Smith Jr., Zion, Kyrie, 
signed and locked up, then they might be able to get Kevin Durant. They got a tank for Zion, though. A lot of moving parts in the NBA world. There he is, Porzingis, which Mark Cuban said he won't likely won't play this season at a 199. Vincent Edwards for the Rockets, hollow rated rookie. We'll save one of those. Pink Velocity, Jeff Green to 79. There's Luka Doncic. There's, then there's the argument, Derek Favors. Could the could the Knicks gotten a better deal for Kristaps Porzingis? Could they have? Or is it just a massive salary dump, which it is, but a massive salary dump with their best player? When has that happened? When has that happened? The relationship get that bad? There's DeAnthony Melton rated rookie autograph. That goes to Phoenix. That'll be for Patrick. That guy's a free agent too at the, at the end of this year. Got Josh Jackson Orange to 199. Next box. Good luck. Nice. Thanks, Rex. Oh, thanks for Gilbert. Who has the who has the bigger social media presence? Rex or Ricky Holberg? Rex just tweeted the baseball mixer out. Ricky Holbert just made an Instagram post about 2017 Bowman draft. Both are available at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Who has the bigger social media influence? What do you think, everybody? Is it Rex on Twitter? Is it Ricky Holbert on the IG? Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out. Or, or none. No one's an influencer. Ricky and Rex, not influencers. Stay tuned, folks. Next box. We got Porzingis again out of 199. There's Jason Tatum. Will the Celts give him up for Anthony Davis? They wouldn't be able to do it until July. Will the Pelicans wait? Or will they take the Lakers offer? But they know what the Lakers offer is. Everyone knows what the Lakers offer is. There's TJ Warren. Lakers only have so many assets, right? Everyone knows what the Lakers offer is. So are the Pelicans. So if the Pelicans haven't pulled the trigger by now, maybe they don't like the Lakers offer. And what do the Lakers do? There's Michael Porter Jr. Nice rated rookie auto for the Denver Nuggets. DMAC with Denver. Then what happens? I don't know. What do the Lakers do? They'll just have to wait for the offseason. Maybe try to get Kawhi. Maybe try to get, there's Aaron Holiday, Pink Velocity. Try to get Kawhi in free agency. Durant in free agency. Durant's not coming to LA. This guy, if the Warriors keep Durant, I wouldn't mind that. There's Thaddeus Young 
to 149. And Landry Shamit, hollow, rated rookie for the Sixers. That'll be for uh, Jensen. Oh, nice. Rick Barker has topped both Rex and Ricky Holbert. Rick Barker saying, I just wrote in Sharpie on a bathroom wall, Bowman 2017. If we generate a sale from that uh, from that stall wall post, Rick Barker, if we get a sale from that, I'll give you a little commission on that sale. <laughs> Ricky Holbert counters with, I'm going to write a note, put it in a bottle, throw it out into the ocean. Hopefully we'll have two thousand. Hopefully that break will be sold out by then, Ricky. Although, at this rate, you never know. Well, it ha actually that has to sell out by tomorrow, because um, our last superb owl square is locked away in there. So it actually it has to fill by tomorrow. And you're thinking, Joe. Well, what if it doesn't fill by? by tomorrow night, around maybe 9, 10 o'clock Pacific. Promos canceled, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Didn't fill it. Didn't get there in time. <laughs> Rich Schmidt. AKA Professor X says, I just use my psychic powers to let people know about a break that he wants to do. DeAnthony Mountain, Lime Green to 149. Thaddeus Young, J.R. Smith. Danny Green, red for the Raptors to 99. Ryan Anderson. To 39. <laughs> Rex is going to pee a message into the snow about the baseball mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bam! Rated rookie Luka Doncic. Ken Goldberg with that Luka Doncic. There you go, Ken. This guy's pretty good, I've heard. Imagine him partnering up with Kristaps Porzingis next season. And really, the I think the I think the Mavericks have a shot at There he is, the rookies right there. The Mavs would have I think would have cap space now that they moved DeAndre Jordan and whatnot at a 199, Devontae Graham. You would think that uh, they would have now have the cap space to sign maybe a third dude, third all star ish type player, and that could be enough. Yeah, this is. <laughs> he must have been signing these ones in the car. All right, next one. Yeah, Rory, I agree. It does seem like Optic, we've seen a little more Luka Doncic autographs out of, out of uh, Donner's Optic Basketball than we have in some of the other more recent releases.
more Donchiches per capita in this set. Well, you never know, Vin. Vinny's like, it's better than my Gary Trent Jr. auto I pulled at Rory's shop today. You know, you never know. What if Luka Doncic turns into a bust? And then Gary Trent Jr., you know, just goes goes nuts. Could happen. All right, next box. Rory, what what do you think what do you think the Bucks could have gotten could could have given up for Kristaps Porzingis? Would you want a Kristaps Porzingis on the on the Bucks? I would. What would it have taken? Cuz I feel like it, it I feel like the Knicks really didn't get a lot back. There's Rory Markinen for the Bulls to 99. Like Eric Bledsoe and like who's unhappy on the Bucks? Is it Malcolm Brogdon or is it Thon Maker? One of those guys are like, I'm not getting that playing time. You know, so like couldn't you have moved one of those guys and then like there's Kyrie Irving at seventy five. Thon Maker's better than Dennis. Well, maybe not better. Is he better than Dennis Smith Jr.? Is Dennis Smith Jr. going to be an all-star? There's Josh Okobie. Okobie going to the T-Wolves. Rich Schmidt from the Timberwolves. Oh, they did two first rounders, one unprotected. You do you do you trust the Knicks to make good on those? Because <laughs> I, I was thinking about it some more, and initially my my knee jerk reaction was, "Yeah, this is a good trade for both sides," but then I'm thinking, "Man, haven't the Knicks have, have haven't they had like, wow, look at this, Anthony Davis, he's part of the the recent NBA conversation, AD, still Pelicans edition, Chris Ensworth." Nice autograph right there. Five out of ten. You got a Doncic and then the brow. That is strong. It's nice that will turn out to be a nice case thus far. Where does AD go? Do the Pelicans trade Anthony Davis? Soon, or do they try to wait for the summer? I guess the Lakers' offer isn't going to change between now and the summer. Lakers want to do it now, just in case, just in case the uh, Celtics say, uh, just in case the Celtics say, "Hey, Jason Tatum's available." Yeah, that's a decent vet right there, Ricky. But I guess the question is: the more I thought about that Knicks trade, I was just like, "Wait, I feel like they could have gotten more." For Chris Osper, even an injured, hobbled Chris Osper, Zingas. Do we trust the Knicks with that kind of money? Oh no, I, I was, we we pulled an Anthony Davis, Rory. So you didn't you didn't miss much. Out of ten, um, I know the Knicks got a ton. I guess I'm asking: Do we trust the Knicks with those picks? And do we trust the Knicks with that kind of money, uh, Dolan? And 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 the, and that and that crew that's running the Knicks. I don't know. It does make the doesn't does make the NBA landscape. 
pretty interesting though. As a Lakers fan, I want that Anthony Davis deal to get done ASAP. If the Lakers get Anthony Davis with LeBron, I guess who else would play on that team? That would be an issue. There's Nikola Batum, 75. Who else would play on that team? Dante DiVincenzo to 199. Redemption, Hollow, Wait, who who suck? Who was their starting five today, Rory? There's Enos Cantor. Tyree Evans to 49 for the Pacers. And the Redemp is going to be Kawhi Leonard. Signature Series Kawhi. Is this, I think this is Raptors Kawhi Leonard, right, in this set? Rory, did you just guess that? I think you, I think you got it in before I showed it. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard is a uh, is a Raptor in this set, confirmed. So that's a great one for uh, for David Shaw. There you go. No worries, David. I feel like David, you've been on a on a on a nice little heater as of late. Yeah, your first instinct is generally the right instinct, Rory. At least that's what they say during multiple choice tests. All right, one, two, three, four boxes to go, four autos to go, plenty of parallels as well. Well, how are our basketball scores doing here? <coughs> it's a final in Utah. Jazz beat the Hawks 128 to 112. And there's six, almost seven minutes left in the uh, third quarter. Denver still leading Houston 96 to 83. Is Denver scaring anybody in the playoffs? Are anybody in the playoffs scared of the Denver Nuggets? <coughs> I've got a great home record. But I mean,. Golden State can beat him, right? Yeah. Oklahoma City can beat him, right? Yeah. Tra Trailblazers might be able to beat Denver Nuggets. Spurs, yes. Rockets are losing to the Denver Nuggets, but in seven games. Jazz, Jazz can beat the Nuggets. Clippers can beat the Nuggets. box. Good luck. Evan Fournier 
for the Magic to 39, Black Velocity. Marvin Bagley. Could the, could the Kings have gotten Porzingis? They've got a lot of players. Throwing a Marvin Bagley. Maybe a Buddy Heald. I feel like I feel like they're a little more exciting than for this guy. They're a little more exciting than Dennis Smith Jr. Right? Although I don't mind Dennis Smith Jr. Avery Bradley to one forty nine. I have not noticed that. Huh? Behind every auto, there's a hollow. There's Zana Musa. Is that not is that not common? Zana Musa rated rookie autograph for the Nets. And that'll be for John Alfie's. And there's Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz to 79. All right, three boxes to go. Rick is saying this NBA draft class has been one of the best in a while. I think it has been. Have the last couple years been pretty good? Roy says, I think everyone not named Dodge is underrated or undervalued in the hobby. The thing is, I mean, obviously this I've said it time and time again. This is the reason why basketball resells so well on a secondary market. Because, because there there's few there's just fewer players. So there's more opportunities for these for these rookies to make an impact, right? The draft isn't very big. It's only two rounds. And most of the time, a lot of these rookies are getting significant playing time within their first season or two. They're getting significant playing time. And if they hit the ground running, I mean, that's it's pretty huge. Now, because these kids are like one and done, you know, it does take a year or two for them to to really hit stride, I think. But, you know, you look at players, like I'm looking at the 2016 NBA draft, right? And you see Ben Simmons playing extremely well, even though he lost a year to injury, but he's playing extremely well. Brandon Ingram's doing okay. He's number two pick in, in 2016. Jalen Brown, I think, for the first year or two, I think people weren't too high on Jalen Brown, but... Now he's a he's a strong part of that team. Dragon Bender, Chris Dunn playing some good ball. Buddy Heald playing well in Sacramento, especially after he got traded from the Pelicans. He's playing pretty well. Jamal Murray is another guy I think people weren't sold on his first year, but then all of a sudden, he's a strong player for the Denver Nuggets. You know, there's Thon Maker. Can go down the list a little bit. Juan Hernan Gomez has been all right. Pascal Siakam was the 27th overall pick in 2016. Avica Zubac in the 32nd pick for the Lakers. He's playing some good ball lately. All right, next box. There's Chandler Hutchinson, rated rookie hollow. Jaron Jackson Jr., the rookies.
Mo Wagner, rated rookie. Lime green to 149 for my Lakers. Steph Curry, blue to 49. All heart, 70, 47 out of 49, not 70 something. There's Jalen Brunson for the Mavs, hollow. Kristaps Porzingis, blue to 49 for the New York Knicks. There's Nerland's Noel out of 199. He's been playing all right in o Oklahoma City. And Mo Wagner, rated rookie autograph for my Lakers. Who's got my Lakers? David Brooms with my Lakers. There you go. Mo's got to work on that autograph, but still a rookie. <laughs> still a rookie. Just like, much like the, the game of a rookie could evolve, so can an autograph, I think. I hope. Paul Millsap to 99. And two boxes to go. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell, Rick Barker, uh, is 2017. So looking at the 2017 draft, just last year, you look at that, you got Markel Fultz. Jerry's still out. He hasn't really been healthy. Lonzo Ball, same issue. Kind of some, some injuries there. Jason Tatum really started looking good in last year's playoffs. And has looked, looked pretty solid this season as well. Josh Jackson, jury's still out. De'Aaron Fox has been all right. You know, Laurie Markin has been great. Dennis Smith Jr. has been pretty solid. I think he started off last his rookie year hot. Cooled off a little bit, but now he's in New York. Let's see if that, if that does something for him. Got Zach Collins. There's Donovan Mitchell, 13th pick. You know, so even all of these guys can still still be another year or two before you really see what they can do. I mean, Justin Jackson for the Trailblazers, TJ Leaf maybe, John Collins for the Hawks, Terrence Ferguson, Jared Allen has been playing some good basketball, OG on Obi as well, Kuzma's been playing well, Josh Hart. You know, so there, there's some guys. And now you take a look at this year's draft class, this current year. I mean, there's a lot of potential here. DeAndre Ayton, who was great at Arizona. Now look at him. Number one overall pick. Marvin Bagley Jr. could be great. Luka Doncic, solid. Jaron Jackson Jr. started this season strong. If they end up trading Marcus All and um and Mike Connolly, it'll just be the Jaron Jackson Jr. show. Just let him just just let him go nuts. Just feed him the ball. Trey Young playing good basketball. There's Mo Bamba, Wendell Carter Jr., Colin Sexton, Kevin Knox. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Michael Porter Jr. I mean, these are names. Lonnie Walker, Kevin Huter had a good game. Grayson Allen could be interesting. Aaron Holiday playing some good point guard for the Pacers. You know, Mo Wagner starting to get a little bit of minutes. We'll see what happens. With Landry Shamit has been putting up threes at a pace second only to like Luka Doncic. You know, and then we're starting to get into the second round. And who knows what could happen with any of these random second round guys. So you never know. You never know. The great thing is, is that, think about it, in baseball, there are, there's Luke Kennard, Black Velocity at 39 for the Pistons. In baseball, you've got the three minor league systems, three levels of the minor league system. You've got 40 man rosters. You know, 25-man active rosters. Football, you have 53. There's like seven rounds of the draft. There's Donovan Mitchell to 199. 52, 53 players per team. You know, a lot of those guys are going to get buried, but if you only have like a 10-man roster, two-round draft. There's J.R. Smith to 149. You're going to start seeing a lot more rookies get get more action and kind of generate more hype and have more opportunities to potentially become stars. I mean, D'Angelo Russell playing some good basketball for Brooklyn.
There's Jamal Murray. Like I said, his first year, not very impressive. People were kind of bummed out. But subsequent years have been great. Mo Bamba. Rated rookie on-card autograph for TJ and the Orlando Magic. There you go, T. This guy could be a potentially good player, too. Frank Tilakina and Luka Doncic. I haven't said Hamadou Diallo. Hamadou Diallo was a second-round pick, right? Yeah, he was a second-round pick. Those are interesting. Those you can't really peg as easily as the first-rounders. Is he getting playing time? Did he play today? That's the key, is, is making sure that, that these guys can get, can put some minutes into the game. And even just a, a handful of minutes here and there could get you, you know, could could get you an increase in uh, in hype. Oh, Vinny's like, I'm just kidding. He's no good at the moment. Well, he got, he got three minutes. Went 0 for 2 from the field. Got a point, though. Got, 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 he got, created a foul. An offensive rebound. Two steals in three minutes. And a turnover. His plus minus is minus six. <laughs> that turnover must not have helped. What position does he play? Oh. Oh, <laughs> triple single. Uh, he's a shooting guard. It's going to be tough to find time in between, like, Westbrook and Terrence Ferguson, right? And Dennis Schroeder, who went, who had 28 points today. Thunder, 118-102 over the Heat in Miami. Dennis Schroeder with 28 points, two rebounds. Just, just scoring. That's all he's been doing, just scoring. Four for six from three. And Paul George with 43 points, seven rebounds, five assists, two steals. Uh, Terrence Ferguson played 23 minutes, had zero points. I guess his plus minus was still plus 15, so I guess he's still doing something on the defensive end. That doesn't stuff that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. Except for the plus minuses. All right, last box. Um, yeah, you know what, Vinny? We gotta find a we, we got we got a we got a Nancy Kerrigan, Terrence Ferguson, and then a Breens and Schroeder maybe. Then we're gonna see some minutes for Diallo, and the value of your cards go up. Tyreek Evans. Apologies, Nancy Carey. That was a terrible thing. Uh, Buddy Heald to 49. Reggie Miller to 99. Devontae Graham, rated rookie hollow. Uh, last autograph was Mo Bamba for the Magic. Marshawn Brooks to 149. There's Marvin Bagley. We were just talking about him. Right, Rory, we, we got to help out Vinny. Increase that value on his Diallo PC. We've just got Nancy Kerrigan, Terrence Ferguson, Schroeder, a couple of the other guys. Get some, get some minutes for Diallo. Clay Thompson, red to 99. And Javon Carter. He's your rated rookie autograph for the Grizz. And that goes to Ken. No, sorry, not Ken. That goes to Gary Gordon and the Grizz. And that's our last autograph. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Serge Ibaka Orange closes things out. That's out of 199. And there you have it. Jason Tatum at the end. That was 1819 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball, boys and girls. Pick your team number four. There's more in the store. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.